Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday morning, Friday jobs morning, pre-market webcast. Again, excuse my voice. I got a, I got a head cold that I cannot shake. But um, looking at the daily chart here, this entire week has been about the daily mid-band. Um, I want to zoom this in right away. We've engaged it. Here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The bears have traded below it each of the four sessions. Haven't been able to hold it on a closing basis. Same deal with Globex last night. What we're seeing on the upside, though, is we're seeing some you know consistent testing of you know 80, which is your weekly pivot. We've been over the top a couple of times up into 85 and and you know the 86 area uh, Monday and Wednesday. If if this jobs report that's coming out in a couple of hours is going to boost the bulls to go back and test those highs, which I think is what they need to do if they're going to take control of this market, and what they should do, considering they've they've been provided with five days worth of daily mid-band support on a closing basis, they're going to have to solve 85.86, and they're going to have to reach for that upper band, uh, 92.93. The key for the Bears really is they've got to figure out 2263 to 2264. They have no problem trading below the daily mid band. They've done it every day this week. The trouble comes, and let's hop out on the hourly chart. The trouble comes down here. 64. Monday. Tuesday. Not so much Wednesday. Then they had a chance really there. To build a higher low, right? Thursday, they've got another chance to build a higher low. The trouble is, as we head back up, you don't want to see, um, you don't want to see this move be a replay of this move. So, I mean, the bulls have had some golden opportunities. This is essentially a double bottom right here. Higher high. This was the false breakout. This caught everybody leaning the wrong way. Caught me leaning the wrong way. God forbid you know, you have a double bottom that leads to a breakout over a resistance area. You know, heaven forbid that happen. But they blew it, and they blew it hard. Back down to 64, but the bears couldn't capitalize, and we end up on Thursday, and again uh, last night, 80, 80. These are weekly pivot failures. Uh, we've traded as high as 80 half as, I, uh, as I'm taping this. But you can see, we'll just turn it into a five minute chart. You can, you can see the test here, here. They need to get over the top. Getting over the top is only you know the first small portion of the battle. They need to make a higher high. They need to seal 80 off on a closing basis, okay? The bears need to seal off 63, 64 on a closing basis. That's gonna be tough today, considering we're trading 80. Now. Is the jobs report capable of that kind of reaction? Of course it is, okay? Uh, I think today's report is particularly treacherous. It's, um, you know, it's, it's not data from the new administration, really, but it's the first time the data has been interpreted under this administration. So, you know, I always tell you guys, don't game jobs. And when I say game jobs, that means you don't come and sit down at your desk at 828 and say, you know, Based upon what they were saying in The Economist last weekend, uh, you know, I read that article in The Atlantic. Uh, I, think, I think the reaction is going to be down. So I'm getting short. Well, if that works out for you, then you're, you know, you're in okay shape. You'll, you'll take the trade off. I mean, you'll make, you'll make a few handles on it. Um, uh, and you'll get stopped out in the whip because you know you got away with something. On the other hand, if you're wrong, you will hold on to it. You will hold on to it like your most prized possession because the trade is not based upon anything that's happening in the tape. The, that, that trade is based upon your desire to be right. And those are the trades that can hurt you. Uh, the way we trade jobs in the room, I think, is a better way to go. At 8.30, we're going to get a number. There's going to be a reaction range up and down. We, you know, we recognize the reaction range. We look for setups based upon that range. Higher lows, lower highs, breakouts, breakdowns. You want to learn how to do that stuff? Come and see us. we got a brand new web-based, mobile-based chat room and a fantastic group of traders uh, that uh, I got the pleasure of uh, trading alongside with every day. 
We would love to have you. Come check us out. But don't game jobs. It is hazardous to your account. So we'll see what happens at 830. If, if it's not the catalyst that we need, then my concern is we kind of you know go over to door number three. Door number three is we do the same thing we've been doing the last four days, which is okay. It's been a decent size range, um, but neither side is able to finish. Um, that's where I stand. Everybody have a great day. Have a fantastic weekend. Follow us on Twitter, at Princeton Trader. Come check out our website, PrincetonTrader.com, and come take a free trial in our chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.